Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I am going to show you how to make your XMU build portable. So basically XMU doesn't store all of the files in its own folder. And today we're going to make it so that it does. And we can make this a portable version of the emulator. So I can link in the description for you to download the latest XMU release, but I cannot link you to the XMU files. Now, if you were to do XMU archive in your Google search, you'll see what you need. But what you're going to want to do is take your XMU.zip, right click, 7-zip, extract to, and if you have your XMU files, same thing, right click, 7-zip, extract to. So I'm going to first rename my folder to just XMU, like that. And when we open it up, we do not want to launch the program just yet. So to make it portable, what most emulators do is you would go to new text document and you would make a portable.txt. And that would make it portable. Everything would be contained in this folder. This time around it's a little bit different, but just as easy. So now what we want to do is put xemu dot toml. Just like that. Press enter. Do you want to change it? Yes. The next thing I'm going to do in this folder is right click, new, folder. I'm going to make a ROMs folder. Then I want to right click, new, folder, and I'm going to do HDD, and then right click, new, folder, BIOS, right click, one more, new, folder, boot. Now I'm going to drag this off to one side, go back to my desktop and open up my XMU files folder, snap it to the side. So for my BIOS, I want to take my BIOS files, copy, paste them into my BIOS folder. We're going to want to go to the boot ROM, take these two files. You only need the bin file, but I'll just take both. Right click, copy, go into boot, Paste, Xbox HDD, right click, copy, put it into your HDD folder, paste, and then whatever games you would like to add. I have one on my desktop, so I'm going to right click, I'll cut, and put that into my ROMs folder, paste. So I'll close. And we're going to go back to the root of our XMU emulator. And let's go ahead and launch it. So it wants us to configure. Go to settings. This is our boot ROM. We'll click this little icon here. We will go into boot. Click the file. Open. The flash ROM is your BIOS. So we'll click the icon here, go up a folder, BIOS, I'm just going to use the first one, open, our hard disk image, we're going to click this little icon, HDD, open, and there we go. You can set up everything you want in here, your display, uh, the general settings, all that good stuff. I skip the start animation. And if I wanted to, I can close this completely. And now our TOML file has some stuff in there. So let's go ahead and right click, edit. And this is what we want to change. So what I'm going to do for the boot ROM path is I am going to 
take everything before the word boot, just like that, and get rid of it. We're going to do the same thing for BIOS. Just like that. Now the EEPROM, leave the slash before EEPROM and put a dot, just like that. And then the H HDD path, we're going to leave it right up to HDD, back. And now I'm going to go to File, Save, and we can close it. So I'll show you the emulator does work. Insert a disk, machine, load a disk, and it is in our ROMs folder. Then you have to go to machine and reset. And there it is working. So I just want to show you something when you close this and we reopen our XMU TOML file, right click edit for the DVD path. This, this is obviously not a portable, but it's easy to change. So if you change it every time in here, it's, it's just time consuming. I would just open up your emulator machine eject. And you'll see here, that path is gone until you load a game again. So I would leave it ejected, and I would take my XMU folder, right click, cut, and I'm going to go put it on a external hard drive, paste. And I'm just going to come back when this is almost done. Okay, there we go. So now I am in an E drive instead of my desktop. And if I open up the emulator, everything's good to go. Machine, load disk, and I'm going to go to my E drive, XMU, ROMs, gauntlet, open. Machine, reset, and there we are. So now it's completely portable. Everything's contained inside of this folder and we have used relative paths as opposed to absolute paths. Like I mentioned, if you do move this and you go to launch your game and it, it won't boot, just eject and then reload to where you've placed your XMU folder after you moved it. So I hope this helps a lot of people. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.